To solve a quadratic equation like this, we first want to see if we're able to factor it. So I'm going to look at factors of 7 and see if I can find ones that add up to 8. Because 7 is a prime number, it actually has the only factors possible are 1 and 7, and those do happen to add up to 8. So we can factor it as two binomials. We can rewrite this whole thing as x plus 1 times x plus 7. This is exactly the same as the trinomial above, and if you were to FOIL it, you would see it is exactly the same. Now we're going to apply the zero product property. It tells us that if the whole thing is equal to zero, then either the first part, the x plus 1, or the second part, the x plus 7 must equal to zero. Well, x plus 1 is equal to zero if x itself is equal to negative 1, because negative 1 plus 1 is equal to zero. x plus 7 similarly is equal to zero, if x itself is equal to negative 7. So I'm proposing that these are my two possible solutions. So either of negative 1 or negative 7 should be a solution. Let's just take a look at why negative 1 is a solution. If I plug that into my original equation, um, negative 1 squared is 1. Then I have plus 8 times negative 1, which is minus 8. So I have 1 plus negative 8, which is negative 7. And when I add 7, I do, in fact, get 0. So we can see that it works out. It'll work out similarly if I plug in negative 7. So remember, first we factor, then we apply the zero products property. Thank you.